What up, it's your boy, T-R-A-P-A-N-E-S-E. -E. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when I do post again. Hit the thumbs up, please. It does help my page grow and be a blessing. You know what I'm saying? Helps this message get out in the algorithm. So please smash that thumbs up button. Today, just wanted to talk to you guys about people trying to get on your bad side. People have, people have a dark side, they're trying to get on your dark side. And it's time to move on. When you ready to move on and you ready to overcome things in your life, people around you aren't gonna be ready for it. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna tell you how bad you are. They're gonna ask you, is you mad? Because you're standing on you know, what you believe in. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's gonna be the main people close to you. It's gonna be the ones that they don't wanna see you change. You know what I'm saying? They don't see the change in you. You know, comment below if you guys understand what I'm talking about. Comment below if you guys are going through that same situation where, you know, the people around you don't see that you're you're trying to grow and you're trying to outgrow them. Maybe you're maybe you guys aren't seeing eye to eye and you're just realizing it. Maybe the friends that you're hanging around with, you're noticing aren't the friends that you need to be hanging out with to propel yourself to the next best you. It's not bringing you closer to God. It's not bringing you close. It's not really, you know, people are people nowadays. You know what they'll do? They'll energy harvest. They energy harvest and they breadcrumb you. They breadcrumb you and then they energy harvest. They take, 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 breadcrumb you. My bad, I'm about to go over this uh, slow, little past thing, you know what I'm saying? Energy harvesting is important. You know, I don't smoke weed, I smoke CBD too, so as well. You know, I don't smoke weed, I don't drink. So just imagine, you're gonna have all these people trying to get you to, oh man, on New Year's Eve, oh man, you know how I many people I have Oh man, just take a drink, man. It's okay, man. Just take a drink. Just take a drink. Nah, man. Oh, just smoke a blunt, man. Just smoke a blunt. I'm like, nah, man. I'm gonna go get my CBD. You know, I'm gonna get my element. And when they when they when they see you in your element, they see you really trying to, you know, prosper, grow. They're gonna do whatever they can to try dragging you down. If you not with what they got going on, they're gonna make you try to feel bad about what you're doing. They're gonna call you selfish. They gon' they gonna say you you too cocky, you full of yourself. Don't listen to them. Thumbs up in the chat, y'all. Listen. This is real. You know? The storm is gonna come at night, but there's always gonna the sun is gonna shine in the morning. You feel what I'm saying? When you have a better outlook on your situation, you know, when you were down in the dumps, who was really trying to help you? Were they just trying to breadcrumb you? You know, you know there's no nobody wanting to be around you. Or people was acting like you were so dispensable that now when you when you decide to really take that and it, and it, it takes time, but when you when you really think about it, when you're on your purpose, people are gonna be playing catch up. Not only people are gonna be playing catch up, they gonna not gonna want you to sprint to your finish line. You know what I'm saying? They're not gonna want you to sprint. That connection, and people need to stop forcing connections too, as well. You know. You can go years and years and years with people and that connection just ain't there. You know what I mean? It could be friends, you know, that friend, that connection, you know, it's trauma bonding after a while. You know, people are just so used to trauma bonding and being around each other just because, oh yeah, we, we share these memories. They memories, they gone, they long gone. You know what I'm saying? If, if you feel like you and your, you and the people you're around, your family, your girlfriends, cousins, aunties, uncles, you know, it's time to vibe on a new tribe, you know what I mean? And and get around people that see things the way you see it, you know what I mean? Uh, and I'm, sometimes it's okay to just get up and walk out and get a fresh peace of mind. I, today, I didn't even hit up social media at all today. Probably got on it like for like two minutes. Just seeing, you know, I seen a little bit of what my little cousin was doing and I just got off. I was like, you know what? This social media stuff is a matrix too. I don't want to get sucked into what everybody else is thinking, you know? Comment down below if you guys feel the same way, if you guys experience that too as well. We're not doing this Matrix stuff no more. You know, we're not getting caught, caught in the system, you know, of living the normal life, living how everybody else wants you to live just because you ain't suffering how they want you to suffer. And then they think you, that your suffering, you know, is, they want you to suffer. They, they think that it is required they think that it's okay. I find that to be really, really bull. Really, really bullshit. I'm sorry. I'm not even going to lie. Excuse my language. 
is anybody, you know, offended by the way I'm talking, so be it. But I'm just keeping it 100. You know, don't, you know, it's crazy. People want you to suffer and struggle with them. And then they want you to sit up there and panic when they, when they decide to, because the card's going to switch up on, on you. You know, they can switch up on you. People switch up all the time on people. You know what I mean? And then they get mad at you when you want to switch up the program. And nah, it ain't even like that. You know, it's all about your growth. It's all about t putting you first. Putting God first and then putting you first. You know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody discourage you or make you feel some type of way because you're ready to move on with and do things on your accord. Do things because you have that feeling that you want to change. You know? You're in control of your life where the family's going to be like, oh, when you start separating yourself from your family, oh my gosh. You know, when you that odd went out and you don't, you see things for what it really is. You see, you see these people like, you know what? They're not going nowhere. They're not going where I need them to go. Or they're not going the same places I'm going. Or they don't have the same mindset. It's all about the mindset of people. You know, people like to have this um, going around in circles philosophy where, you know what I'm saying? A circle is where you go down and up. It's like a loop. It's just a big loop. Go down, up, a single circle. And it's like, come on, y'all. How, how long are you going to be putting in this circle? And when people are fed up with the circle, then you got to realize this ain't for me. This, this person ain't for me. This situation ain't for me. This job ain't for me. You know, this living situation ain't for me. And it's been like that, you know. These friends aren't serving my purpose. Or these, this, this woman or man ain't serving my purpose. This, this family member is not serving my purpose. So what are they going to do? They're going to try to treat you like an outcast. They're going to try to separate you and act like you the weird one. Well, guess what? Embrace that weird. Embrace your weird. Embrace being different. Embrace embrace being the odd, odd person out, odd man out, odd woman out. You know what I'm saying? Many are called, few are chosen. Only people, certain people want to wake up to a reality. And guess what? They're going to be trying to copy you. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be energy harvesting. They're going to ask, why you mad? You mad? Or no, when, when you wake up and you just be like, you know what? I want something new. You know what? This ain't working for me. They gonna look at you like you the you you the bad guy, you the bad girl. You know what I'm saying? And you know what? You gotta find you gotta vibe with your tribe. You dig what I'm saying? You gotta find your tribe and vibe with it to the most, to the max. Because these people ain't gonna see what you see. It's it's your vision for a reason. You know what I'm saying? You got vision. You got goals. You got ambition. You know what I'm saying? Don't let my confidence. You know, how, what do they say? Don't let my confidence intimidate your insecurities. You know what I'm saying? Don't let my in, and that's real, you know what I'm saying? He's gonna have to really deal with you're gonna when you want a new lease on life, when you want a new lease on your goals, your dreams, your aspirations, people are gonna be trying to drag you down as much as they possible. When you start switching up, when you start doing things that aren't normal, you know what I'm saying? You going off and doing things by yourself instead of trying to share the moment anymore because it's just not there, you know what I'm saying? He's feeling like you're just forcing, forcing connection just because it's there. You know what I'm saying? And that's where we that's where we fail at. We fail not growing, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's something the season of growing. There's four, five seasons in the year, you know, spring, summer, winter, fall, you know what I'm saying? And, and I'm trying to tell you, there's a reason for that. There's a reason because when things are not meant for you, they're not meant for you no more. And you gonna have, everybody grows at different rates. And you can't even get mad at them for not growing. You know what I'm saying? People ask you, are you mad? No, nah, I don't, no, nah, you're not mad. You don't have no animosity towards anybody. You just see things for what they are now. You know what I'm saying? It's like you see the future. It's like you see yourself going places, doing things, being around people that, you know, you can connect, you can vibe with. You know what I'm saying? The, what you're used to isn't going to help you grow. I'm telling you right now. What you got going on, what you had going on, and you start seeing the patterns, you know, comment below if you guys understand what I'm talking about. You know, thumbs up, please, if you guys understand what I'm talking about. But please share this with somebody if they need to see this. You know what I'm saying? Them, them addictive patterns, them psychotic patterns, you know what I'm saying? The trauma bonding power, power you know, the always trying to rekindle. That shit's over with. You know, it's done. Don't let nobody over here steer you the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? It's your life. It's your opportunity to grasp. We only got one life. You know, it's not your responsibility. To, to babysit other people's ambitions, goals, dreams, confidence, you nurture other people. Now you could, you know, and I'm not being selfish. I'm not saying selfish because there's all those people that you, you know, you can vibe with 
you know, that just need a little help. You know, just like, you know, everybody needs a little help. But you know what? It's okay. You just really think about where you're going in life and where they're going in life. Do that. Does that match up? Does the mindsets match up? That's what it's all about. The mindsets matching up. And once you realize that sometimes the mindsets aren't matching up, then that's okay. And, and guess what? I can be around people. I could be around people that's broke. I could be around people that's rich. I'm not talking about being around people that got money. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I could be around broke people. You got to be a people's champion. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is vibe with your tribe. You know, understand where you're going. Understand where they're going. Understand that, you know what? This person really ain't moving that fast for me. You know, this, you know, every time I try moving fast, you know, they always try to bring me back and tell me to slow my pump my brakes. Any ideas that you got, any any new, you know, the, the people around you is going to be the first person to try slowing you down and saying you can't do this. They're going to be the first person to try hope putting restrictions on you because they feel like they know you. They feel like they know you. They feel like they want the best for you. Oh, we just want the best for you, want the best for you. But what, what happened when you really down and out? You won't, you'll rarely find people around you. You'll find the wrong people around you when you down and out. It's so crazy. But then there's only a couple few people and a couple few things that's going to really take you and bring you to the light. You know what I'm saying? And you can't attach to people just because they have material things, because they have things that you want. You got to be around people that you can, you can plant, so you can plant seeds, you know what I'm saying? Bear good fruit. And when you see that people aren't trying to bear good fruit and you see more for yourself, you have to move. When God tells you to move, you have to move. Okay? The rain gonna come, but the sun gonna shine. You dig what I'm saying? The rain gonna come, but the sun gonna shine. I'm just letting y'all know that. People gonna try dragging you back. People are gonna thinking that you acting different. And you know what I'm saying? You gotta just tell them to bow down gracefully because this is God's plan. This ain't your plan. This ain't even my plan. You know, he's just turning my pain into gains. You dig what I'm saying? So I just want to let you guys know, um, things do fall down to get built back up. Don't let nothing discourage you. You know, these people around you is going to be sitting up here trying to, you know, bring you down to their level so they can surpass you. It's like a competition. It's like it's like a weird competition with people nowadays. They're energy harvesting. They're going to they gonna use all these words because they know words are power nowadays. So they're going to try to, you know, provoke you to get out your character and stuff like that. They're going to try to, you know, cause separation with you, you know, and other people because they're going to they gonna try turning people against you. You know, they're going to make it seem like you the bad one. You're the one that's, that's always at you know, you, you, you upset, but you're not even upset. You know, you, you living through, you, you, you realizing and recognizing that you need sometimes need to do this on your own, or this isn't the people that you need to be around. And until their mindsets are right, until you get around people with the right type of mindset, nine times out of 10, you don't really need to be around these people because they only bringing you down. You need to go to that comfort place. You know what I'm saying? You need to honestly get, you need to, the thing is, is that true, true, true success doesn't lie in the comfort, in the comfort zone. It don't. Realize that, you know, and nurture your dreams, nurture your life because you only have one. You know, other people might see things for you that you don't see for yourself. And then there's some people that see things in you that you don't see in yourself. That's a good thing. But you don't tell you stay in the same, staying around these people with that, with that messed up mindset or thinking that, oh, you changing or you being a better version of yourself is, is bothering them, is, is, is irking their demons. You need to move away from them. You know what I'm saying? Because they can't, they can't branch out on their own. So what they'll do is they'll see somebody climbing and they'll do everything they can to try to, no, no, no. They don't want you to, they don't want you to see your full potential. You know what I'm saying? They don't want you to, they don't want you to live out your life. They don't want you to live out your dreams. They stuck in the matrix. They stuck in social media wanting to see what everybody else is doing. Oh, da, 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 da. They were living in the matrix, y'all. Living in this big old simulation where everybody wants to think the same. You know, uh, other people want, they see, they see the relationship goals and all this other stuff like that. And you don't need, and you set apart, you see things differently. This is what I'm talking about. The chosen ones, they're okay with being alone. And when people be, oh, this person wants to be alone. He's so different. Why you want to be so different? Why you want to be so different? Or, or, you know what I'm saying? One day you happy all, all up in their face. Then you just like, you just out of it one day and that just happens. And then I think that people just take that, you know, 
that you acted different and they need to switch it up and really they probably do need to switch it up and you need to switch it up too as well so this is you know smash the thumbs up button please if you made it this far like comment subscribe hit the notification bell show somebody who needs to see this you dig what i'm saying and we about to pass you know what i'm saying more more subscribers it's, it's a great rise with y'all i'm definitely digging it you know what i'm saying all the people that i touch you know what i'm saying it's gonna keep growing and going and growing and going and growing and going and I'm loving to see it, you know what I'm saying? I'm blessed and highly favored. You guys are blessed and highly favored. Don't let anybody distract you. Don't let anybody tear you down because you want to do your own thing. You don't move at your own pace, you dig what I'm saying? If it's fast paced and so be it. If it's slow paced, so be it. But it's all about mindset. So get around those people with the same mindset as you and you'll be fine. Don't let anybody tear you down because you got a, you got a different mindset. You got a different outlook. You know, you want to be separate. You don't care about none of this, you know, the cars, the clothes, you know, heard people go, oh, oh, you heard what such and such is doing. You heard what such and such is doing. No, because I'm focused up on me, you know, and you got to point out your flaws before they point out yours, because that's what's going to happen. You got to do like the M&M effect. You know what I'm saying? But, but yeah, 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 my teeth is crooked. Yeah, I'm wearing mismatched socks. I'm not wearing mismatched socks, but yeah, my hair is messed up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I messed up a few times. Yeah, call your stuff out before somebody else calls your stuff out. And I bet you you'll I bet you you're gonna feel better about yourself, but I bet you also you're gonna be you're gonna be Teflon tough. You're gonna be Teflon tough when no bullets gonna penetrate, no evil, you know what I'm saying, no weapons against you shall prosper. You dig what I'm saying? That's just what it really comes down to. You know, people are gonna be trying to judge you because you you move in a certain way or you on a different type of frequency. And I tell you what. You know, they're going to be doing this, stuck doing the same old thing they used to be doing with the same old mindset they always, they always have. And you know what? Psh, to, to hell with them. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Trapanese, T-R-A-P-A-N-E-S-E. -E. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Like I said, comment below, share this with somebody who needs to see this. And it's time to get up, get out and get something, do something for yourself. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, get out your comfort zone and I'm out. I'm gone.